The Power of Full Engagement by Jim Lehrer and Tony Schwartz. A really profound book because the fundamental idea here is that it's managing your energy, not your time, that is the key to high performance in your life because we all have fixed amount of time in our lives. We all have the same 24 hours a day, but how we manage those 24 hours in terms of the energy that we bring to the daily efforts for different efforts really makes the difference between peak performance of, of, of doing great things versus not being able to do any great things in our lives. So the power of full engagement. Let's dig in a little deeper into this idea. And the key ideas that we're going to cover is that, first of all, as we said, managing energy, not your time, is, is important because energy is our most precious resource, not time. The second thing we're going to talk about is how do we harness this energy that we're talking about? In order to harness this energy, we must operate like athletes. We must operate like athletes. And the third key idea is we're going to, or the third area of ideas we're going to talk about is the four forms of energy. So let's, let's jump into how to harness our best energy. The first idea in how to harness our best energy is to Think of yourself like a sprinter, not a marathon runner. You don't want to be like an emaciated marathon runner who's running for 26 miles and it's just a skinny, thin, really not so appealing. You want to be like a sprinter. You run for that dash and then you rest deeply. So the key to nature, the key to growth is oscillation, to expend your energy with full effort and then renew with full effort as well. And what you want to do is create rituals in your life to renew yourself, to expend energy, focus energy, and then to renew yourself. The other key idea is to push yourself beyond your comfort zone. How do you bring the best energy? You push yourself beyond your comfort zone every time because that's the only way to grow, whether in whatever realm we're talking, emotional, physical, spiritual, mental. And you have to push it beyond your comfort zone. In all the different areas of life, you have to push yourself beyond your comfort zone. That's the way to keep on improving your energy level to get the better, to get the best part of you, to bring that focus into your life. The other, I, other way to do to how to get the best energy, to get the best energy in your life is to create rituals. Now we talked about this idea a little bit um, uh, in the book, The Willpower, where we said that our willpower is very limited. So we cannot just bank on our willpower to be able to do the things that are important to us. What we need to do is create rituals. We need to use our willpower to create these important rituals and habits in our lives because we must, you know, we must offset the fact that we have very limited will. So we have to create these rituals in our life. And all great athletes have rituals that they use to manage their energy. Now, what are some of the keys to rituals? Well, the rituals are very specific in their steps, very specific in their steps. And you try to do them the same time every day. And the other thing is you want to build them one ritual at a time, not try to suddenly, now that you know about this idea, you go and try to build 10 rituals. It doesn't work like that. You go, you'd realize what is that one ritual? What is that one key ritual that you need? Build that for the next 20 days or 30 days and then build another one, another one, another one. And that's when you can have a lot of powerful rituals in your life. Now let's talk about the four different kinds of energies that we have in our lives and how to be able to harness each of them very well. The first is, of course, physical energy. And we know from a lot of research now, I think this is simple stuff, but to, to eat right, to eat low glycemic index meals, to sleep well, to get seven to eight hours of sleep, and to be able to... Um, uh, exercise to work out are really important in order to have our best possible physical energy. Another way that the authors suggest is to use your breathing to get your best uh, physical energy to be able to relax yourself. And here's how it goes. I'll show it to you right now. Three counts in and six counts out. So
one, two, three, breathing in, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, breathing out. That actually creates a huge relaxation in your system and allows your physical energy to renew itself, to renew your energy. The next idea is emotional energy. What we need in order to perform at our very best, in order to be a high performer, is to we, have, we need to have pleasant and positive emotions to perform at our very best because negative emotions over time will pull us back. They're good for survival, but they're not good for thriving. They're not good for overall long-term high performance. And it is our ability to summon these positive emotions that will make a big difference in our lives. So we have to create a balance between exercising the emotional muscles to, to, to exercise these positive emotional muscles, to, to, to challenge our emotional muscles, to push the boundaries, but at the same time to seek recovery, to, to do things that really soothe our soul, that we find enjoyable. Um, things could be relationship, dancing, singing, reading, yoga, playing, whatever it is. So you want to use your emotional energy, you want to get into the positive, uplifting state, but at the same time you want to be able to renew it because even positive focused energy for a long time can become challenging after a while. The other energy, we talked about physical energy, we talked about emotional energy, let's talk about mental energy. Your ability to bring your best cognitive abilities to bear on whatever you are working on. And the key the key muscles you want to exercise are positive self-talk and creativity and visualization. These are all very important in mental, positive mental energy. And we, in order to renew our positive mental energy, we need to be able to let go of, the, of those deep thinking sessions. We need to let go of thinking and focusing deeply. And we also need to be able to continue to challenge ourselves, to push our comfort zone, to push our boundaries so that we can get our brains to grow, to get our mental energy to grow, to get our mental uh, reserves to grow. So really important for mental energy. Then let's talk about spiritual energy. You can talk about purposes, values, character, all those different things. Now spiritual energy is purpose driven. It comes, it is beyond yourself. It is a connection to your deepest held values, whatever they may be and it is beyond just your limited self-interest. Now the most uh, powerful, uh, powerful purpose is always going to be something that is way beyond your limited um, wants, your limited desires. Your limited wants and desires will never you, give you great purpose in life. So we must identify our most fundamental values and it, there are some, there are a lot of exercises there are that are there to do that. But one of the ways to think about it is, who are you at your best? Think of the people you really aspire to become. Um, think of people you really deeply respect. And what are the qualities that you really aspire to have or to inculcate from those people? And again, the same idea. You have to be able to um, to build the spiritual muscles, this reserve of spiritual energy. You want to be able to exercise it and grow it. And the key muscle to exercise here is character because character, what that really is, is this conviction, this, this strength to live by our deepest values. So there we have it, the power of full engagement. The power of full engagement by Jim Lehrer and Tony Schwartz. Now, again, just to rehash the key ideas, we talked about how energy, not time, is our most precious resource. And how do we harness our best energy? We need to pulse like a sprinter, not like a marathon runner. We need to push beyond our comfort zones and we need to create rituals in our lives. If we do these three things, we'll harness our best energy. Now, what are the best kinds of, what are the energies that we're talking about? Mental energy, emotional energy, spiritual energy, and physical energy.